What are you doing up here? What? Why are you climbing trees again? Uh, it's not safe. Uh, and frankly, you know, I find it a little scary. So why don't we head on to the shop and, and do some design work. I'd rather do that than hang out up here in the tree. The shop's better. Design is better. Gas lens is better. Come on. Let's go. Hey, it's good to get you out of the tree and into the shop. Today we're going to talk about the Scorpedo and converting it into our Gasland Scorpion build. I love this car. Uh, I like this car for a lot of reasons. It's funky. It's different. I mean, at first, I will tell you, it was not love at first sight. Uh, when I first saw this car in uh, the local barn, as we say, um, yeah, wasn't feeling it. I was just like, yeah, that's a kid's car. Clearly, Mattel going after uh, the young market with that one. But... In driving down a, a road in Louisiana, I-10, uh, right outside Lafayette, saw this big metal crawfish sitting on this billboard. Gave me inspiration because I remembered this guy here. And uh, when I saw that, that big metal crawfish on that advertising billboard, it was mean, it was nasty, it was rusty looking. And, you know, stuff just started rolling through my head with utilizing this uh in a gas lens build because i saw the vision so let's uh take this down the road and and see what we're going to do with it these wheels they gotta go i've never seen blue wheels in uh real world and it's it's just not going to work for me we need to change these out both front and back get rid of them I think when we do that, what we'll do is we'll change to a bigger uh, wheel in the back. Probably something like uh, something in the range of maybe 17, 18 millimeters. What that's going to do, because this, this one up front, that's like a, a 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter wheel. So we'll keep this size, but yet change this to that that 17 18 millimeter which in turn is going to take it from this low rider kind of feel that it, you know it's relatively flat there and it's going to lift it up you know and when just by the diameter being that big you can see that bigger wheel on the back is going to change that stance from being sort of passive to much more aggressive you know the the back end of that that scorpion tail coming around uh, up over the top uh, is more pronounced so I like that in addition uh, with the wheels I think we're gonna go really aggressive with the treads uh, nice beefy big biting kinda tire I think that'll uh, that'll that'll make it look really really cool I mean and on the front again same diameter but stay in theme with what we do on the back as far as the aggressive treads so uh, that covers the wheels next let's talk about the paint on the bottom the, this blue paint has got to go it's got to go anyways uh, just from a standpoint of if you don't know anything about uh, Hot Wheels restoration or or working with uh, paints it's it's quite different than what you're probably experienced if you're coming from the the war game world uh, war gaming you get your your miniatures and they're not painted uh, they come unfinished in a box, uh, and from there you prime them. Well, this is a completed product, and uh, this this paint job on here is is super smooth, and it's uh, got a high gloss finish to it. There's really nothing for paint that you want to apply to this surface to bite into. So what's going to happen is any paint you put in here, over the course of time, it's going to loosen, it's going to flake, and it's going to fall off. Your gas lens build is going to look like just, you know, not the way you wanted it. 
and, and it's going to look really, frankly, it's going to look hack. So it, it, it may look good, you know, when you first complete it and, and for a little while, but over the course of time, man, it's going to be a mess. So to do this right, we've got to drill these posts out, break this car apart, get this uh, bottom plate, which is really the, the chassis of the car. Uh, we've got to get that stripped down. So uh, we'll cover that when we get into uh, breaking the vehicle down as far as how to how to drill and do all that because that's that might be new for a lot of folks out there and uh you know it's it's a skill that i think if you're doing gas lands or or any other uh build for a car for other games or whatever you, you really need to to know how to do that the uh upper part of this car is plastic and it's got what we call in the hot wheels world tampos uh, that's this design that's on the side and on the top here. Now, a tampo is, um, basically it's just an ink design. In the factory, they have these, uh, spongy rubber, uh, stamps that as the, uh, body of the car is going down the assembly line, it comes down and applies the ink just through the stamping process. Now, you can't necessarily see it very well on the video, I'm sure, but these tampos maybe you can let me bring you up here see these tampos right there you you get a little taste of it see um see how they got a relief to them you know so you can spray paint over them with a primer and you know it's going to be fine uh as far as the body's concerned but those tampo lines you know that that you that we have i don't know if you can see them but they're there, trust me. Um, you're going to see the outlines of of the tampo. So to do this right, you got to remove the tampos and, and get them off there. So it doesn't look like you just painted over uh, some kind of sticker or something like that, even though they're they're ink. With uh, with that, you know this is plastic. So any any chemical that we use to remove this. We've got to be very cautious that we're using something that's friendly to the plastic. We don't want to apply like acetone to this because it would just, you know, melt the plastic away. And then we'd have to go buy another Scorpedo. Why, you know, why do we want to do that? We don't. So uh, we're going to use a, uh, some chemicals that are, are friendly to the plastic. And crazy enough, you're probably going to be rating... Uh, uh, the cosmetic department in one of your local shops. So be ready for that one uh, We'll cover it again as that we progress down the road with this build uh, But for right now, we're just going to continue on with the design back half here with this uh, Articulated scorpion tail I think it plays really when it well into mounting uh, Some weapons on it if I bring you up close here right there on both sides right you can probably there you go get a good good view of it there and there what we're gonna have is uh, a nice place for some gun emplacement I think if we do one on each side in each indentation we get this nice twin machine gun sort of effect that's gonna look really mean especially when we get get that stance up and and the gun barrels you know pointing down at potential targets really decent i think it also plays into the build of the vehicle as far as uh the statistics go you could uh basically take this one of two ways that i'm seeing you could just have it as a straightforward uh firing gun or you can play into the aspect of that this is uh, articulated and hence becomes a turret giving you a 360 capability uh, for this thing to shoot anywhere it wants either way um, that's that's pretty pretty potent on the field if you ask me in this area here and also the back we have some exhaust for the motor which is right there that motor obviously gonna have to be painted but with the exhaust i think it's fine it'll be uh it'll look really good there this one though i'm gonna 
give you some options. It could either be an exhaust or on your stat card, you can turn this into, say, something that shoots caltrops out of it. Or maybe even just sprays oil. It gives you that uh, ability to take out an oil template and uh, play with that on your, on your car. So... I, I like some of the, the stuff that... The, I mean, there's a lot of cool narratives on this car when you really start to break it down. These here, uh, obviously the the windshield for this uh, car, I don't think it's necessarily going to work very well at all. Uh, I think it needs to be addressed. It definitely needs to be painted. Uh, white just isn't going to work. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what it will, will do with that. Uh, maybe, let me see if I've got some laying around. You know, we mentioned the, uh, there it is. Uh, we mentioned the tool in our last video. Maybe I could take this plastic, uh, once we get it apart, we'll see what this all looks like on the inside. But maybe take this and, and put that on the inside. It'll give us a, um, that caged look that a lot of people use uh like metal mesh screening uh i'm i'm finding that this here with its flexibility lends well to molding really nice into uh, this with some assistance of some hot glue so you know we'll maybe visit all this when uh we get it apart but we could, might even be able to just put this into the the body of the you know the inside of the body and and put put these back in and uh that might be a good look too you know especially if we painted them black and then had some kind of a, a rusty dry brush on the uh on the material itself so some cool thoughts there let me know what you think uh gave you some options and i'd like to hear your input on it the front end of this is just plain nasty i think uh when it comes to playing the game uh this what a cool narrative and storyline this gives to your to your game where you're just bringing this claw and this this piercing bit here into people you know just crashing right into them what and, you, and you've got the weapons here uh already on the car i mean it comes with it a lot of people will put like a uh, a brace up front and put spiky bits it, man i mean this car's got it going all the way around i told you it's a it's a really cool build i think what we need to do though is that this is got this piece here is obviously part of the the chassis it's going to be stripped we're going to paint it it'll give it that rust quality but with it there's also a bevel uh, there you can see that bevel right there where where you see that shine is where i'm thinking of putting a bright silver um, accent to it so it looks like it's been sharpened up while the rest of it is gonna have that, that rusty look to it it'll be a really nice contrast between the sh uh, shiny uh, bright bit and that rust so it'll really uh, it'll really pop I think doing that also to to this uh, claw will do the same sort of thing you know where this here, all rusted, nice, shiny, sharp edge. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just going to look like it's going to tear you apart if it, if it drives in and grabs a hold of you. So some cool aspects there. Another little bit, if it, on the inside of this, you see some, uh, I don't know if they're supposed to be like headlights or, uh, beats me. I mean, I, I have no idea what those are supposed to be. I'm going to go with headlights, um, but in the gas lens world, we can maybe look at turning those into more guns. We can look at turning them into missiles for missile option. Um, so another cool aspect to this build. All in all, uh, yeah, this is going to be one mean looking thing. I think, again, I've mentioned it a couple times, the overall look of it uh, being rusted out and, and kicked up. Uh, in the back, it's just going to be a mean-looking car on the on the gas lands wasteland uh, table. So, in the future here, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to do a video where we pull this apart, getting into drilling and tapping the post. So you can look forward to that. In uh, 
in the grand scheme of it, I mean, we've got a little bit of work to do, but this build's going to go pretty quick, I think. If you want to follow along, go ahead and get yourself a Scorpedo. I mean, they're easy to find because the, they're not the most popular car, I would think, in, in, you know, for collectors to be grabbing. And so you'll probably be able to find these pretty easily. Uh, I usually find them in, in what's known as the dump bin. Um, it's where, like, Walmart puts all the extra cars that they can't fit on the pegs. So, j you know, just get into looking for this car and... You can build it along with me as I uh, as I go ahead and knock this build out on YouTube. Uh, you can build your own version of a Scorpedo, and I think it'd be pretty cool because I'd like to see what you come up with as you're following along with what we do here in Gaslands Garage. So uh, it's good to have you in the in the shop. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. If you uh, want more Gaslands Garage, and uh, be sure to hit that smash. Uh, hit the hit the submit button give it a good smash uh, that way whenever we put up a new video we being the collective me we me myself and I um, go ahead and uh, you know hit that subscribe button that way you get a notification so be looking to see you in the future until then while you're playing your gas lands remember maximum carnage is always always the best way to go. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.